was asking about pain at home with my small child frequently who frequently climbs on me and uh, he is causing tremendous distraction uh, is this prayer uh, accepted or will it be accepted okay first of all we want to know whether it's valid or not then we speak about the matter of acceptance is it valid to pray while carrying a child or the child is playing around you uh, we have in the Prophet وسلم, the best example and the greatest role model and he used to pray while carrying Umama, his granddaughter the daughter of Zainab uh, bint al Nabi and uh, while he was standing he will carry her when he will make ruku'ah he will sit on the floor and he will make sujood she will be next to him and sometimes his grandson or granddaughter will climb on his back sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that will not interrupt his prayer as long as the person have khushu'ah somebody will say but there is a conflict of interest how can I have khushu'ah while the child is running back and forth of course the first choice is if I can keep the child in the stroller or if you have a maid or a babysitter or whenever you have to use the bathroom or take a bath what do you do where do you keep the child so if you can do that that is fine but if you need to be next to the child or the child need, uh, needs uh, regular attention then it's okay to pray while carrying the child especially if the child is uh, constantly crying and so on that will not invalidate the prayer even if the child is uh, for instance wearing the diaper and he or she smells which means that they have uh, defecated or urinated that would not invalidate uh, your prayer you can still carry the child if the child is riding on your back while you are in sujood it has been reported that once the Prophet وسلم, was leading the prayer and uh, the companions noticed that his sujood was so long he prolonged his sujood to the extent that some of them anticipated the Prophet وسلم, had died so after the prayer they inquired about it because it was not in every sajda what was the reason he said well because my son was riding my back so I did not want to interrupt him mercy of the Prophet وسلم, was not just specially for him but was a mean of lessons to teach us how to deal with our children and that would not invalidate the prayer that if I cannot set the child somewhere which he will or she will be safe while I'm offering my prayer with tranquility I'm saying that because all of us uh, or most of us are almost in the same situation uh, meanwhile I like to see the child next to me imitating me in my prayer trying to do as I do and I notice that the child will run around and go and come back but when you sit for the tashahud right away the child will sit next to you and imitate you because they figure out that you're about to wrap up uh, your prayer so they behave and this is how they get to pick up uh, the instructions of the prayer the importance of the prayer and so on 